It was the biggest aircraft to crash on Australian soil, but there was little left intact. It claimed the lives of three American firefighters. All three were far from home, helping to defend lives and property during the worst fire season in Australia on record. The C-130 was at peak view north of Cooma, dropping retardant on a blaze. It was battling rapid gusts of wind and ran into problems when it started to climb. The aircraft likely aerodynamically stalled when flying in hazardous conditions. Earlier that day, a small spotter aircraft rejected a request to assess the conditions in the Snowy Mountains due to safety concerns. A 737 was also sent to nearby Adamitabi, but shortly after advised all aircraft should stop operating in the area. The Transport Safety Bureau criticised the New South Wales Rural Fire Service for not passing on either report to the C-130 pilot. It was still an, a situation where they were operating with partial knowledge um, and not the full picture. The RFS defended its actions, saying the 737 pilot had made the C-130 crew aware of the conditions. The pilots are the ones that make the, the decisions. They look at the uh, fire grounds, they make a decision on whether it's safe to do something or not. The report recommends that in future the RFS ensures it passes on all safety information and also considers a policy of cancelling flights over an area if many pilots have deemed it unsafe. We'll be enacting the uh, recommendations from the ATSB. The report also recommended the plane's operating company Colson Aviation improve its pre-flight risk assessments. Peter Lusted, ABC News, Canberra.